California Seasteading Institute believes countries of the future will be built on the ocean. These nations will be fully sustainable, self-governing floating cities designed as havens for research and innovation. The Institute's president, Michael Keenan, says the most successful will become thriving new societies. It's an idea, he says, whose time has come. There is no one kind of government for everyone, no one ideology for everyone. And so if there were new space to start governments, uh, we, would, we would see an ideal society for everyone. But there's no more land. However, 70% of the world's surface is covered by ocean, and it's unclaimed. It's international waters. So the Seasteading Institute uh, strives to create new countries on floating islands in international waters. Keenan says this is no idealistic pipe dream. PayPal's billionaire founder, Peter Thiel, has donated more than $1.5 million to the Institute, and other wealthy donors are following suit. The design of these offshore communities will be led by Institute engineer George Petrie. He says much of the technology to build floating cities already exists. Why don't we just utilize what is so readily available to us by colonizing the surface of the sea and positioning ourselves to, to intelligently take advantage of the resources that the, uh, uh, that, that the open oceans, the bounty that the oceans uh, offer us. Petrie says the floating cities will be modeled after semi-submersible oil platforms. So even in very inhospitable, very uh, stormy sea conditions, uh, the platform uh, will, will remain very stable, very minimal motion. One would hardly know that they were on a floating body. He says the cities will be able to expand by linking on new modular parts, much like Lego pieces. Petrie says solar power, wind turbines, and other cutting-edge technology will supply the floating cities with power. In a decade, you'll start to see uh, custom-built semi-submersible platforms resembling oil rigs. And in a few decades, huge cities uh, the size of Hong Kong on the ocean uh, with millions of people living in very diverse, very effective and efficient societies uh, on the ocean. And the Institute's ideas are already taking off. A company called Blue Seed is converting an ocean liner into what it says will be a floating version of Silicon Valley. With no visa requirements, it's designed to attract foreign talent to develop new technologies. The ship is scheduled for launch late next year, the first of what Michael Keenan hopes will be hundreds of seasteads created over the next several decades. Keenan admits it's an ambitious idea but one that will eventually offer millions of people the opportunity to choose a country that suits them best. Ben Gruber, Reuters.